Mr. Casey. I am currently a swimmer. I got here in 2011, and I will graduate this year in 2015. Well, my entire family went here, pretty much. I've had two uncles, a grandfather, um, two older sisters go here, some cousins. My dad went here. And right before middle school, my dad said, OK, you have to make a choice between soccer and swimming. And I said, OK, I'm going to choose soccer. He's like, nope, you're going to choose swimming. <laughs> And then I started swimming ever since then, more competitively and year round, and just continued on from there. And it was just, I love the family, I love the culture of it, and the swim program was exactly what I wanted, and I just couldn't picture myself anywhere else, really. I'm Katie Casey, and I swam here from 2007 to 2011. It was something aspirational growing up. You wanted to be able to be smart enough to get into Notre Dame, fast enough to get into Notre Dame. So it set a bar and was a driving motivation from middle school forward. And then it's just an experience that we all get to share. So having a sister here, cousins here at the same time, family who gets it, it's Notre Dame people are diehard and that's how we are. So it was a no brainer. Don Casey, uh, I swam here from 1978 to 1982. We actually visited the campus and the, the whole spirit of the place just felt so right to our family. We're, we're big believers in team, we're big believers in uh, the, the, being a great Catholic university. And we came out and then we met Coach Stark and uh, Coach O was just great. Uh, he said, look, you're going to swim for four years and we're going to help you be a great swimmer. But coming to Notre Dame, we're going to make you a better person. And being part of Notre Dame swimming was going to make you a better person that we were committed to more than swimming. We used to go over to the Logan Center because he wanted you to understand that there had to be more to swimming. You had to give back to other people. And we all got in the car and I said, gee, Dad, what do you think? And he literally looked at my brother and I and said, this is the place for you guys. Brian Casey, I swam here from 1981 to 1985. I remember just thinking it was an interesting place. And I remember looking at lots of different schools and just having a couple options and it was spring of my senior year in high school and coming to visit my brother and swimming with a team when he was a junior. And I remember thinking, this is where I'm gonna go. And I came home and said, I'm gonna go to Notre Dame. I never wished I swam in any place other than The Rock. The Rock was just part of the team. It was, it was our place, it was our home. I think we felt enormous affection for it. We kind of liked the fact that we were not in a really glamorous facility because it really made you realize that we were really lucky to have each other. We were really lucky to be part of this university. We were really fortunate to have Coach Stark as a coach. So the facilities were not nearly as important as the place, the people, and the coach. Are you on the board? I am on the board. Where are you? Did you take it from Katie? I did. I did take it from Katie. So when I look at this pool, I don't resent it. I loved The Rock, but I love that Notre Dame has a beautiful pool. So you're just, you're just proud of the institution, but you're also, uh, you delight in your own memories. I always get online and see that just recently Bridget won the 200 fly against University of Illinois. I was very excited about that. Congratulations, oh, thank Bridget. thank you. Um, your third 50, I was a little worried about your split there. <laughs> we all swam the same event, so when I watch you swim, I know what the 200 butterfly is like, and you know how hard the third 50 is, and you know how you feel in the last 15 yards. So not only are you watching your relatives, but you're watching them swim your old race. It's just very strange. Come on, it's very, very difficult to watch your children compete because you only want what's best for them. For me, it's very, very difficult to uh, stay calm in my seat. I know that they have some trouble and they pace and they scream. Um, many of my friends' parents say it's very funny watching them watch me swim, um, but it's always nice having them there. Looking back at my own swimming career, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, being captain might have been more important than any time that I achieved. The idea that I was elected leader of a team and you had this responsibility, it, when I look back, I think that might be more important than any race I ever swam. The fact that all of us were captains is it's very nice to know that I think my dad and my uncle were able to establish a legacy early on and then pass down leadership skills and aspirational goals for me and Bridget that we were also able to fill. So I think their experience at Notre Dame and their experiences on the swim team and captains really influenced the way we grew up. It goes to show how much Notre Dame has shaped our family and the influence that it had. 
You know, legacy in, in my mind is living up to the tradition, but in so many ways it's really passing something on in better shape than when you arrived. But it's more than tradition. I mean, legacy isn't just history. Legacy is commitment. Legacy is striving. Legacy is trying to do the best, trying to live up to an institution's reputation. I want us to be part of the family legacy, be a big part of the family and just kind of continue on that whole name of Casey at Notre Dame. I think my parents are very upset that they're not going to have a kid here anymore. And my wife and I have had the privilege of watching our three daughters become part of that legacy and I'm 100% sure in 20 years maybe one of their kids will come back and wouldn't that be great that they hopefully will be part of a great program and maybe leave that a little bit better after they've been part of it.